Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Ape Escape 2. Alright, in the last episode we cleared Ninja Hideout and got the Yellow Monkey beaten. In fact, we even found a spot to farm for extra lives if we need to. So I'm definitely going to take advantage of that if we get really low. For now, let's go to Snowball Mountain. Go and capture 8 out of 13 monkeys. No problem. In fact, at least we got two levels in this game 100%ed so far. Okay, I thought it was the uh, pig making that loud stomping. I was getting kind of worried. Oh. Watch it carefully. I'm gonna get over here in case that snowball comes back, and of course it does. So you just gotta use these little alcoves to keep yourself safe. I guess another thing you could do is just take a chance and then just go right under it when it bounces. You just gotta make sure you don't get crushed. I don't trust myself to not get crushed, so I'm just gonna take it the slow way. Says the guy that found a far way to farm for unlimited lives. I just don't want to have to do that. You know, an enemy like this over here would be a godsend. So you don't have to worry about hypothermia setting in. Let me guess, you're hiding in here? Nope, that's just a cookie. You know, just a thing that keeps me alive, currently. Oh god, it's alert already? How'd you get alert so soon? Okay, there we go. Bernie. Bernie is in the house. Oh god, I'm getting fired at him in many different ways. At least the gunner is pretty slow. So there we go. Get that out of the way. Ooh, can I get up there? I think you can if you just use the fence. I don't know. I don't really have a way to do a long jump. Or stay in the air for a prolonged period of time. So I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to get all the monkeys on this run. I don't think there would be a way. I should have got something for hitting all of them in a single strike. Because, you know, they're shaped like bowling pins. Yeah. You're going to teach about ice Harry. physics, are you? Slippery ice just ahead. If you lose your footing, you will fall and lose a life. Yeah, thank you for making it so grim, Professor. If you make a mistake, you will die. Okay, I misjudged where it was, and I got Raver anyway. I didn't know this turned into Freeze Easy Peak. What the hell? Why do they have faces like that? I bet you there's a monkey in one of these presents. No? Not one? Rudolph is a bit sore today. <laughs> it is pretty cool to see it dressed as Santa. Even though I must make it mine. You know, perfect for this time of year, am I right? 
Okay, what am I... Oh, okay, I see what I gotta do. I wonder if this is where I gotta go to eventually get to that, uh... Monkey on the Reindeer. All signs seem to point to no. But let's see. Maybe if I just climb up a bit more, like up here, I can find it. What? That's bullshit. Gotcha! Finally! Chill, why don't ya? Oh, okay, you can still grab the ice. I thought it'd be too slippery to get a grip on. Oh, you thought you could get away from me, huh, Parka? Not... Related to a famous luchador wrestler, by any means. Well, I guess he's known as L.A. Park, not La Parka. Because, you know, the original La Parka. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Okay, let's just hit this. That'll get me up there. Guessing I will need the dash hoop to get around that ramp. Oh, you know what else I could use? Can I knock you off the reindeer? Yes, I can! Oh god, dropping bombs. Santa had bombs for all the good girls and boys. Monkey claws. <laughs> wow. Rude. Like, instead of lumps and lumps of coal, maybe it was incendiary devices. And the good kids just get the bombs for the people they don't like. That sounded a bit dark. Okay, I guess I will need the dash hoop. Oh, that's gonna be so weird. Especially since I gotta do a drop for it. And, you know, that'll happen. Dude, so now I gotta climb all the way back up again from the beginning. Well, that sucks. Well, at least this is a pretty easy uh, twist and turn you can do. Okay, so let's see. I gotta do it from here. Is enough? That's not enough. Oh, come on, game! You couldn't just give it to me. I was that close. That's so mean. That's what I get for, you know, trying to, you know, make it spin and then not move, and then by the time I got there, it was too late. But I didn't think I'd be too late by that easily. There! Finally! How many more monkeys do I need? Only two. I can deal with that. What is this? Is there a snowmobile? Look, Hikaru. 
I have built you a new vehicle, a snowmobile. Jump to get into the driving seat. Drive it by pressing the left analog stick in the direction you want to go. It's really fast, but I'm sure you can handle it without difficulty. You can also defeat monkeys and enemies by crashing into them. Defeat? I, I just want to capture them. I don't want to kill them. Huh? Well, this is, seems pretty easy to control. And they take a while to recover. Big bopper. Wow, I thought this would be much harder to control. I, I was wrong. I'm glad I was wrong. It can be very tricky when you're trying to hit things with it, though. Hey, where'd the monkey go? Wasn't there a monkey here? Did it go in that pipe? I think it went in that pipe. I think it's just using that to get away. What? Did I just go back where I started? Yeah, I think it just went in there. Oh no, it went up there! Gotcha! Zippy! Why does it look like the level's about to explode? Is that a load-bearing monkey? Still haven't found yellow monkey from last time. Gold coins. Feels like the unlockable still haven't dried up yet. Oh god, what the hell? Oh, why'd you have to loot a banana? Yeek! Bubble bubble. Hey you! How dare you boil Ms. Banana! I... I just farted. Oh my god. Note from Spectre. A defeated general should not boast about tactics. Monkeys in glass houses should not throw stones. Whatever. Monkey Fable. Ape, Ape Shima Taro, Part 1. A long, long time ago, there lived a young monkey named Ape Shima Taro. An eccentric young primate, he spent most of his time diligently fishing, despite the fact that he hadn't the slightest taste for fish. One day, Ape Shima was walking along the beach when he spotted some young rascals tormenting a sea turtle. Hey, hey, please, sniff this straw. <laughs> Look out, Valley. Gadget to you. The Sky Flyer makes towering heights irrelevant. Use the Gadget Trainer to learn how to fly like a bird. Do you want to go to the Gadget Trainer now? I I'm sure it makes some heights a little too assailable still. Seven out of nine monkeys. Like, I don't think I can stake this to go to space. Okay. Let's get that right. Oh, oh no. Where have I seen this before? Oh no. Ah, oh, I thought I could just sneak up on him. Oh no, he's getting away! Tie. Thankfully, that one wasn't a Tasmanian tiger. 
I don't think I could be ready to have a crossover with Ape Escape and Tie the Tasmanian Tiger. That would be a little too out there. Okay, it all takes some getting used to. But it's not a bad gadget. At least you can still use it in mid-air. So that's a good thing. Nice. Hope I don't need to hit that every time. I don't think I do. Hold on, before I take the upper path, what if I went non-upper? Which is known in other countries as down. <laughs> Nothing behind the waterfall. Video games train me to always look behind waterfalls, so you can't blame me for that one. Hmm. I'm pretty sure this guy is going to be aware of me right away. See what I tell ya. Did he just go into the water? No, he didn't. He just... ...juked me. I can't have any distractions, alright? Are you kidding me? It still got away? Oh my god. How did that hit? Anyway, there's Allie. Or maybe it's ally. He's no ally of mine. He could beat me up like that. So I don't know what the game's talking about. <laughs> oh, I thought you could beat up that rock. I was wrong. Gotcha! Olivia. Thought you could get away, Ms. White Pants Ape. It's after Labor Day. I don't think you got the memo. Okay, good stuff. There's a nice little waterfall. Oh god, oh god. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. I did it. Wait, does that bridge come back? Uh, that's a problem. Can I not use it to go back? Uh-oh. I know what's gonna happen here. Somehow it still got away. Alright, let me switch ammo. Okay, tracks a little. I think what I should do... ...is get it a little hidden. Uh-oh. Oh, it's got a flamethrower. There we go, that... You can suck it, and your machine can suck it too, gun. If that's your real name. I remember, like, in the PS... Like, in the first game, there, there was a lot of those turrets too. And they usually kick my ass a lot. 
You know, let's just get them both in play. Oh, damn. If it hasn't attacked in a while, it will just get you with a hit immediately. I'm noticing that the hard way every time. Oh, good thing it had nowhere to go, Lily. Alright, one monkey to go. Oh, wait a minute. I'm back here. Isn't this like back in the beginning? Um... No, I think this way was where I went. Yeah, it was. So let's try this route. Let's go somewhere a little different. Oh god. So many bad nightmares about this. This river is dangerous, Hikaru. You'd better use the boat I've prepared for you. Rotate both analog sticks simultaneously in opposite directions to paddle the boat. To turn, press down on just one of the analog sticks. Oh god. Okay, so if I just hold up like this... I'll be fine. I think just rotate makes it go faster. So all I have to really do is just hold up at the same time on both sticks. So the whole rotating both at the same time... It's bullshit. You only need to hold it straight forward. And that's how you use it. Aha! There we go. Does this look like mineral water or something? Because it doesn't look that fresh. He's like, huh? What? What do you do that for? What was that all about? Okay, so I'm gonna need the car for this. Nice! I got it on the first shot! I thought I was going to eventually just get it in a bad place. Like it was just gonna get crushed. What? Oh, that was stupid. No, no, oh! I could grab the ledge even after getting hit. Simeon tell. <laughs> Okay, well, at least I trivialized that part. Okay, good stuff. We actually made some good things happen for once. Super Jumbo Coin. I, like, I heard you like gotcha, so we're gonna let you do more. The mini games are triggered by clearing a certain stages. Clear the Lost World to win Monkey Climber, and you will find it later in this gotcha box. Okay. Another Monkey Fable. Ape Shima Taro Part 2. Ape Shima was usually not one for getting involved, but he simply could not pass up a chance to snatch the luscious looking banana the rascals had with them. He cast a net quite athletically upon the kids, fully entangling them. Without much effort, he had one top banana. Ape Shima was shamelessly indulging himself in the bright yellow banana when the sea turtle began to speak to him. Ok, 
Okay, there's the blue baboon that I've heard a bit about. However, I wouldn't mind revisiting... Breezy Village? Because there's still one monkey I didn't get. I wonder if I can actually find it. Or do I not have the right gadget? Says it's over that way. Oh, it seems to be pointing here. All right, I cleared the level. Ha! Got dozy. <coughs> huh? Fantastic. I didn't have enough time to start another stage because it was over 20 minutes. So I'm like, yeah, I'll just revisit old levels. Rather than just like try to do all the backtracking at once. Hey Karu, are you hurt? Let's just get some of them done. I'm fine. I, I didn't even take damage in this level. What the fuck? Why are you asking if I'm hurt now? Where was this cause for concern when I got my ass handed to me by the second boss? Alright, let's try Port Calm. Maybe I'll eventually find a level where I still don't have the gadget for it. Yeah, there's a monkey right here. Oh, I didn't even have it. Oh, you almost got caught. Okay, there we go. That's Florence. Okay, let me see. There's still one monkey. Down there? I guess... I'll cry over this way. Could there be an opening? Like, maybe in here. I don't think I've ever been this way. Huh! There was a whole lounge area that I didn't go to. And there's like a metal crate. That's not the first time I've seen a metal crate. Anyway, we got Lilo. I, I definitely don't have the gadget for metal crates. But why would that even be there if there's not even a monkey? Welcome back, Hikaru. Thanks. Uh, okay, there's two out of eleven monkeys I still need to get in Viva Ape Spania. So let me see if I actually got all the gadgets for this one. I'm pretty sure I don't have it for the castle, because I remember there was a fireplace. And I don't have anything for putting up fireplaces. Okay, I'm definitely not close enough for this. Oh, it's reacting over here. Telling me to go upward. What if I just use this? Can I use this as a shortcut? Probably not a good one at this point. Wait, did I not hit this button at all? No, it seems I have been up here before. Seems to be right over here.
Oh, wait a minute, I know where. It was over here that I've been to. That must have been the switch I hit the first time. Not a fan of constantly having to switch gadgets, but it's gotta be done. Over that way, okay. Over here, it seems. Oh, I haven't been this way yet. You have been collecting your cookies, haven't you, Hikaru? Look at those cookies in the upper left of the screen. When all those disappear, you'll collapse from exhaustion. And when that happens, you lose a life, represented by a red jacket. When you're off to a dangerous area, try to collect the maximum five cookies. Yeah, but we'll, we'll make it very scarce so you can barely find them at all. Oh, it's just too hot in here. It's Annie. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get in this, uh, what looks like a bullfighting arena. Maybe I make it to the other side, like that, see? Or... Can I actually hit this switch all the way from here? No. It's too far away. Oh, guess I'll just do it with brute force. And now I'm over here. Oh, shit. I'll get that oh, monkey at least. Toro! Oh, wait a minute, how the hell do I beat this thing? What if I charge into you? Oh, I know what I gotta do. I gotta hit it in the back. So I bet you if I destroy this bull, I'll be able to get the last monkey. Oh, I see what the problem is. I have to wait for the weak spot to be exposed. There we go! One more hit should do it. Honestly, this dash ring is the only thing that's gonna keep you from getting absolutely killed. I have to wait for it to stop charging, and then I'll be able to get the, uh, the last shot on it. This should do it. No? I thought if you hit it with a red light, it'll be done. Now it should be done. Gotcha! I thought the ape was on the right side, it was on the left. And now we got Annie. Alright, so let's recap. So out of all the levels I've completed, all four, at least on this side, have been done. There's still four over here, well, only three out of four are done. I'm guessing, like, after every four stages, then we'll have a boss? That's the pattern it seems to be going so... to do so far. I don't know how long it's going to... 
you know, sustain that. More gold coins. Monkey Fable. Ape Shima Taro Part 3. Despite being a talking ape himself, he didn't feel very comfortable about a talking turtle. But as he had finished his banana and he didn't have much else to do, he decided to oblige this, this strange turtle. Doing as the turtle told him, Ape Shima rode upon his shell to the bottom of the sea. Once there, they were agreed with more schools of fish than you can imagine. And a princess ellipsis. A game hint. At the base of the stands in the bullfighting arena, there is a spot on the wall that can be broken. Oh? If you can just find it, you will have yourself a rare monkey. Um, I don't know. I mean, I already got all the monkeys in that level, didn't I? Unless the game is saying, oh, but there will soon be more monkeys for you to find. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Anyway, let's just save and stop the video here. And we'll take a look to see what our percentage is at. Like, since then, we were at 22%. I think we've made it to 28%. No, 27! Ah, that was close. Alright, next episode, we'll do the next level, which of course is... The Blue Baboon. See everyone, thanks for watching.